Well, on my last video that I did, um, I put in a last minute section in there because I came across this um, image here, this photo put together. And this was actually put together and posted by LeBron James, a famous basketball player. And my big beef was, where's all the football players? You know, uh, most of the NFL players are like, how come nobody's standing up against uh, this police brutality going on? But the first thought that went through my mind, seeing him kneel down there and seeing Kaepernick kneel down, is this cop, this Derek Chalpin, was imitating, making fun of Kaepernick and all of his police brutality protesting going on. He was just mocking him and making fun of him, posing for the cameras with his hand in his pocket like, hey, this is casual, like, uh, you know, Kaepernick did during the national anthem. And I made a comment that possibly uh, Derek and George, of course, they work together. That's always, that has already been out there. And maybe they had conversations about Kaepernick and his protesting at the uh, NFL. And how many times did uh, Derek sit in his living room cursing those damn niggers, cursing, 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 oh, they're good for nothing, blah, 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 blah. How many times did he actually do this? So now he's a big shot posing in front of the cameras, hand in his pocket, casually putting his knee down, the same right knee that Kaepernick did. He was posing for the cameras. He was showing up because he got away with two other murders on the streets. If only I could read minds in this photo, what was going through Derek's mind, gloating what he was doing, his buddies, his other three fellow policemen doing nothing. What was going through his mind in this particular photo op? Yes, this could have been just a photo app to initiate all this violence going on. There's been reports that the police have been caught piling up bricks in these protest areas that have turned into violence. There are also reports that the Muslim Brotherhood is behind Antifa, and they're the ones who are instigating a lot of these uh, riots going on. And when I was a prison guard, they really stressed in my head in the 80s that if you abuse an inmate, that they can sue you and take a piece of your paycheck for life by violating their civil rights. Whatever happened to that? And they drummed it in our heads, and we were always very aware of that. And their big policy was these people are not in prison for punishment. Being there is their punishment. And to exert no other physical force upon these men without justification. And I have commented too on prior videos that in the early 70s with my affiliation with the Los Angeles Police Department, that cops used to brag about how they could go through their whole career and never have to pull their weapon. This was considered a very good accomplishment for cops back in the old days, but not anymore. So I don't know, these days do cops put notches on their uh, pistol handles? Did Chalpin have two notches on his pistol handle and he wanted to add to the collection? Funny stuff, funny stuff, I tell you. And now these police on the streets are judge, jury, and executioner. And this does have to stop. This has been going on way too long, folks. Because I grew up in a well-diverse ethnic area and been exposed to a lot of different races and seen both sides of the prejudice the bias and the hatred i've seen both sides of it anyway what do you think you think he's posing for the camera you think he's mocking kaepernick and my big question is in my last video where is kaepernick how come nobody 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 in the mainstream media and even in the alternative media who i only watch has mentioned his name for anything he should be the godfather of police brutality protesting but nobody is doing or saying anything about it okay my final word on all this is where's the body where's the body where's the body this is looking kind of weird like a Jeffrey Epstein uh, suicide case where's the paparazzi he's been dead for 10 days is his body still on ice we know the family did a independent uh, autopsy and determined that it was asphyxia but where's the body? Where's the paparazzi? Where's the funeral? Where's all this stuff going on? The paparazzi is usually right on top of this stuff. But just like Jeffrey Epstein, 
they were nowhere to be found anywhere. So, yes, I have to bring these suspicions up because why not? Okay, that's enough for this crap. You understand what I'm trying to say. Pierre Vida from Costa Rica.